everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we're going to learn how to send WhatsApp message to in-demand leads slash inquiries for foreign language courses. So I am an owner of a business in which I sell different foreign language courses like for French, German, Spanish or other language courses in my business. Now to promote my business, I use Indiamart and in my Indiamart account, I receive a lot of leads and inquiries by my potential customers or clients. Here what I want is that as soon as a new inquiry is going to be generated by the potential customers or clients for my business with the help of India Mart, I want to send that lead a WhatsApp message. Now sending these WhatsApp messages manually is very time consuming. So what I did was I simply automated this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software. And here in this automation I'm going to build a connection between India Mart and WhatsApp Cloud API. As with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API, I have created a message template and using that template, I'm going to be sending messages towards my leads. If you want, you can create your own message template with the help of Wati or Interact. If you want to learn about this amazing automation process step by step, then let me take you all to my screen. So in this video, we're going to learn how to send WhatsApp message to Inimat leads in queries for foreign language courses. So as an owner of a foreign language course business, I use India Mart to receive leads from individuals interested in learning new languages. The challenge that I face is manually responding to each and every inquiry, which takes time and often delays in my communication with leads. To overcome, I automate this entire process integrating India Mart with WhatsApp so that now whenever someone submits an inquiry with the help of India Mart, they're going to automatically receive a personalized WhatsApp message. This saves time and ensures immediate communication and helps me effectively engage with leads, increasing the chances of conversion. And I'm going to build this amazing automation between WhatsApp and India Mart with the help of Pabli Connect without any coding and programming skills. Okay, so on the screen, you can see the website of Pabli Connect, that is pabli.com slash connect. After browsing this website, we need to sign in to our Pabli Connect account. But if you're a new user, you can sign in for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So as I'm an existing user, I'm going to sign in to my Pabli Connect account. After signing in, you can see the all Pabli apps window in front of you in which you can see all the applications of Pabli. From which we are going to select Pabli Connect by clicking on this access now button. Then Pabli Connect's dashboard is going to appear in front of you. In order to start an automation process in Public Connect, we need to create a workflow. For that, click on this top right corner button right over here that says create workflow. A dialog box is then going to appear in front of you which is asking for the workflow name and for us to select a folder. So for the name of my workflow, we have, I'm going to give it as send WhatsApp message to India Mart leads in queries for foreign language courses. So this is the name that I want to give to my workflow. Next, it is asking for us to select a folder. So on the left side of my screen, you can see I've created multiple folders in my Pabli Connect account from which I'm going to select a specific folder in which I want to save this workflow in. For that, click on this drop down. These are the folders from which I'm going to select India Mart Automations as the folder I want to save this workflow in. After giving the name to the workflow and selecting the folder, I'm going to click on this create button in order to create a workflow. A workflow is created in the name of send WhatsApp message to Inimart leads in queries for foreign language courses and there are two windows in front of you. One over here says trigger, other says action. So what is trigger and action? Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two concepts. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means what is action? Action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but multiple action steps. We are going to set up our trigger step first. And for the trigger application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as India Mart. India Mart is an online platform where businesses and individuals can connect to buy and sell products or services. It acts as a marketplace allowing sellers to showcase their offerings and buyers to find what they need whether it's products, services, or business opportunities. For business owners, it's a great way to reach out to larger audience, generate leads, and grow their customer space. And I use India Mart to promote my foreign language courses business, in which I sell different foreign language courses for like Spanish, German, and French, and other languages, okay? 
I want that it as soon as a new lead is going to be generated for my business with the help of India Mart, I want to capture the response of that lead in my public connect workflow that I'm creating. That is why for the trigger application, I'm going to select it as India Mart. And for the trigger event, I'm going to select it as new leads. As whenever a new lead is going to be generated in my India Mart account, automatically with the help of this trigger event, public connect is going to capture the response of that. Now to do that, we have to build a connection between India Mart and Pabli Connect. And for that, you can see that Pabli Connect has provided us with the webhook URL. So by following the steps given here below in the help test, we are going to build this connection. So I'm going to first copy this URL from here. After copying the URL, I'm going to log into my India Mart account that I want to connect to Pabli Connect. So this is my India Mart account and I'm going to connect this account to Pabli Connect. In order to do that, from the left side of the panel, go to the lead manager option right over here. As you go to land towards the lead manager option, over here on this page on the top left corner, it says menu, click on this button. Under menu, these are the different options from which select import export leads and from the given options, go to the push API option right here. Then you're going to land towards the push API integration page in which it is asking for us to select the source. Over here, if I'm going to click on the drop down, the given source is not provided in the option. So I'm going to select over here the source as other. It is asking for the platform name, which is the source's name. So for the source name over here, I'm going to write it as public connect. Okay. And for the web URL field, I'm going to paste the web URL that public connect has provided us. After giving the source name, which is the platform name and pasting the web URL, I'm going to click on the save button. It is asking for the reason why are we creating this API. For that, I'm going to select a random reason from the given drop down. And then I'm going to click on this button right over here. As I'm going to do that, you can see the webhook URL has now been successfully added to my India Mart account. As now the webhook URL is successfully added to my India Mart account, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my workflow and scroll down. Over here, you can see it is saying waiting for webhook response. So now to check whether India Mart is connected to Pabli Connect or not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate a test lead. And by generating the test lead, I'm going to check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of that test lead being generated or not. For that, I'm going to log into my user account in India Mart. So this is my India Mart's user account. And with the help of this account, I'm going to generate the test lead. Okay. Over here, I'm going to search for the dummy product that I've created using India Mart. So I'm going to search for it right over here. So this is the dummy product that I've created. And with the help of this dummy product, I'm going to generate the test lead and check whether Pabli Connect captures the response of that test lead or not. Okay. For that, I'm going to click on this contact supplier button right here. Okay. As I'm going to do that over here, it is asking for some details. I'm going to select the random details from here. Then I'm going to click on the submit button. It is asking for the message that we want to send as an inquiry. So for the message over here, I'm going to write it as looking for French language courses for our employees. Could you please provide course details and pricing for corporate training? Okay, this is the message that I have. Now I'm going to click on this next button. It is asking for the GST number. So I'm going to fill in the details right away. This is dummy detail. Then I'm going to click on the submit button. As it says the details are sent, this means the test lead has now been generated. As now the test lead is generated, I'm going to open my workflow and check whether public and it has captured the response of this test lead being generated or not. For that, I'm going to open my workflow that I've created. So this is the workflow that I've created. And if I'm going to scroll on, you can see right over here, Public Connect has successfully captured the response. In the response, you've received the unique query ID. You can see right here, we have received the dummy subject. The state comes over here as Madhya Pradesh with the name of the lead as Angel. For the phone number, the mobile number of the lead for the email as test user at the rate publicutes.com. Country comes as IN, that is India. Company as test company. City as Bhopal. Address as Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Further in the response, you have received the product name. You can see this was a dummy product that I've created. Over here, this is the date and time when the lead was created. And with that, you can see right over here, we have also captured the message that we have generated as an inquiry that was looking for French language courses for our employees. Could you please provide the course details, pricing for the corporate training okay and these were the different required features that we required okay and with that these are the other details that has been captured in the response as the response of the new lead being generated with the help of india mart has been captured in the response this means that india mart is now connected to Pabli connect now whenever a new lead is going to be generated for my business with the help of india mart automatically and instantly Pabli connect is going to capture the response of that in the similar manner okay after setting up our trigger step, we need to set up our action step. I want that, that as soon as a new lead is going to be generated with the help of India Mart by the potential customers or clients for my business, towards the potential customers or clients, I want to send a WhatsApp message. Now, for sending the WhatsApp message, we are going to set up our action step. And for the action application, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as WhatsApp Cloud API. 
As with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API, I have created a message template. And with the help of this message template, I want to send messages to my leads. Okay. So this is a template that I've created using WhatsApp Cloud API. You can see right over here. And I want to send WhatsApp messages to all my leads with the help of this message template. Let's go through the template. The name of the template is Enyamart Leads Follow Up. It says Hello Leads Name. Leads Name is the variable that I've created in this template. In place of this variable, I want to add the value of the leads name so that I can send a personalized WhatsApp message towards the leads okay it says thank you for your inquiry on india mart about your foreign language course at master academy we offer a range of courses in languages like spanish french german and mandarin tailored for beginners to advanced learners here words we provide flexible schedules expert instructors affordable pricing feel free to reply to this message if you would like more details or to schedule a free consultation looking forward to helping you achieve your language goals best regards master academy so this is the message template that i've created and with the help of this template i want to send whatsapp messages to all the leads that are generated for my business with the help of india mart Okay, so now what I'm going to do is for that, I'm going to select my action application over here as WhatsApp Cloud API and for the action event as send template message and then I'm going to click on this connect button. A window is going to appear in front of you on which click on our new connection or else you can select the existing connection. After that, you can see over here it is asking for the token, phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID. With the help of these details, we are going to build a connection between WhatsApp Cloud API and Pabli Connect. So how can we have all these details that Pabli Connect is asking for? For that, click on this hyperlink, learn more right here. As we are going to do that, you can see we're going to land towards Pabli Forum page right here. If I'm going to scroll down, the first tutorial mentioned over here says how to set up WhatsApp Cloud API inside Pabli Connect. By watching this tutorial, you're going to learn how you can step-by-step -step complete WhatsApp Cloud API setup inside Pabli Connect. And as you're going to complete the setup with the help of this tutorial, you're going to have all the details that Public Edit is asking for, okay? As now this setup is going to be done by watching the tutorial, the other tutorial says over here how to generate a permanent token inside WhatsApp Cloud API. If you're going to watch the tutorial right away, you can see it is asking for the token. If you want to generate the permanent access token for this workflow, you can see this other tutorial that is mentioned for generating permanent token for WhatsApp Cloud API, okay? So do watch this other tutorial right here to generate your own permanent access token, okay? So as I've already created a WhatsApp Cloud API setup, so I'm going to open the setup that I've created. So this is the API setup that I've created. You can see right over here in this API setup, we have the token, phone number ID and the WhatsApp business account ID that Public Unit is asking for. So we're going to copy these details from here and paste it in our workflow. For the token, I'm going to copy this token from here and I'm going to paste this token right over here, okay? After that, for the phone number ID, I'm going to copy my phone number ID from here and paste it right over here. For the WhatsApp business account ID, I'm going to copy this ID from here and paste it right over here in my workflow. After filling all the required details, I'm going to click on the save button. As I've done that, you can see WhatsApp Cloud API has now been connected to Pabli Connect. After connected, it is asking for us to select the template name. We have to select the template with the help of which we're going to send WhatsApp messages to all our leads. So for the template I have created, a template in the name of India Mart Leads follow up and I want to send this template as a WhatsApp message towards my lead. So the template over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it as India Mart Leads follow up. Okay. As soon as you're going to select the template name, automatically the language code and the selected template ID is going to be selected. Okay. After filling all these details, it is asking for the recipient mobile number. To which mobile number do we want to send a WhatsApp message to? I want to send a WhatsApp message to the lead that is generated with the help of India Mart. So for the data of the recipient mobile number, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. What is mapping? Mapping means inserting data from the previous step. So we're going to insert the data from the previous step of this workflow. How mapping works is that as soon as I'm going to click on this field, this was a previous step. As I'm going to click on it, this was the same response that was captured in our previous step. It is asking for the mobile number. So I'm going to search for the mobile number right here. So you can see right over here in my previous response of this India Mart step, I have received the mobile number of my lead. And I'm going to send this lead that was generated with the help of India Mart or WhatsApp message. So I'm going to select the data of the mobile number from my previous response. As I've selected the data from my previous response, the data is mapped. And as I map the data, the data has now become dynamic. That means whenever a new response is going to be captured in our previous step, automatically the new data is going to be updated in place of this map data. Okay. After that, it is asking for the body field one, that is the lead's name. 
So as I've already told you that in my template, the leads name is the variable that I've created. You can see right over here. And in place of this leads name, I want the name of my lead. So this is the same variable that I've created. And for entering the value of the variable, this is the field. So it is asking for the leads name. So what I'm going to do is in my previous response, I have received the leads name. You can see right over here. So I'm going to map the data of the leads name. Okay. After filling in all the required details, I'm going to click on the save and send test request button. As I'm going to do that, you can see right away we've received a response, which is a positive response. So now I'm going to open my WhatsApp and check whether I have received a new WhatsApp message or not. For that, I'm going to open my WhatsApp. And yes, you can see right over here, I have received a new WhatsApp message which says, Hello Angel. This was the name of the lead you can see right here. And this is the same message template that we have created using WhatsApp Cloud API. It's been forwarded to me as a message on my WhatsApp. So as we have received the message, this means that this fully created an automation between India Mart and WhatsApp with the help of Pabli Connect. So now to sum up till now what we have done, I am an owner of a foreign language courses business in which I sell different courses and promote it with the help of India Mart. I have set up this automation so that whenever now a new lead is going to be generated with the help of India Mart, that is I have selected my trigger as India Mart. I am going to send that lead an automated WhatsApp message and for that I have set up my action over here as WhatsApp Cloud API and I have created this connection between these two applications with the help of Pabli Connect. So this was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Not just with these applications, you can create automation between multiple other applications with the help of Pabli Connect. If you have any questions, you can contact us on support at the rate If you have any queries, you can check the queries on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issues, then you can check out this link. If you like this video, please do subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment on if you have any questions or doubts, and please share this video.